So it was a lot of frustration because on the BBC News and our channel one, there was no interpreter. You had to go on to a, cha- a different channel, but not all the deaf people had access to that channel. And it depended on what TV you had and what channels you had. They should have provided it uh, all the time. So all the updates, they should have had an interpreter and they should have been really clear with the information. There was a lot of waffle in there. There was a lot of confusing information that's conflicting. You really just needed simple bullet points um, for not just for deaf people, but for all the hearing people, for them to try and understand what was going on. For me, it was really difficult trying to actually understand. And I'd ask my mother and say, I'd ask my daughter and say, what are they saying on the news now? And they're like, oh, we don't know. And it was stressing my it was stressing my daughter out. And they were saying, and my, my mother was, um, with her being at risk, and she was seen as quite high risk and vulnerable, it meant she got different information. So there was a lot of frustration over not being able to access the information because both my mother and daughter were hearing. And then for me, accessing the information, it was totally different. And then you having to rely on other people And it's just this constant, what are you allowed to do? What are you not allowed to do this? You're not allowed to do that. And you'll be thinking, I don't, you know, what? So it was a real, it was a real problem for deaf people.